this is truly happening in Call of Duty more so than that. It is happening in gaming, everybody. I got a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you guys. You might want to start rolling your fat doobies. And we also have this Activision situation going viral where they talk about you need to check your privilege. Hashtag me too. Hashtag equality. <laughs> but I also do want to talk about this chick here because this chick is going viral in gaming. First of all, she said that she doesn't like men, which is... Uh, Guys, that's fair. That's fair. That's her opinion. Like, men are wrong. Men are manipulative. Uh, according to her. Okay, that's your right. Uh, you can have your opinion. That's perfectly fine. But then she went a step further and said that whenever she has her kid, she's gonna change that sucker's gender as well. Yay! Like this video if you think uh, parents should not be changing their kid's gender. Bruh. Dislike the video if you think uh, it's perfectly fine, man. It's very, very good. Change your kids' gender all day, every day, right? I want to know where you at, but check this out. Before we dive into this clip here, ow, game dev Activision Blizzard accused of hosting struggle sessions for white devs to discuss their privilege. Yeah. <laughs> A any white homie watching this video, you need to check your privilege. Hashtag me too. Hashtag equality. All right, roll this one. Roll it. Struggle sessions for white developers to discuss their privilege. <laughs> uh, I've been shocked at what my former co-workers have told me about Activision Blizzard. It's a very different place from what it used to be when the games were better and we left politics out of it, he told Blaze News. True. Says Mark Kern. And if you don't know who Mark Kern is, he used to work for Activision Blizzard uh, many moons ago. Blizzard now has struggle sessions where white developers must discuss their- Yeah, he was like, hey, when the games were better and we left politics out of it, leaves the company or was fired. Boom, boom. Privilege and DEI emails go out every week and I showed that in my last video. You should definitely check that out if you haven't watched it. Non-mandatory meetings that are clearly and openly mandatory and now review forms that have you rate how well you DEI ESG. Now my question is this, all those layoffs, all the layoffs we've experienced across the board, across yeah. the board in the gaming landscape, is it something to do with this? I'd be interested to see the actual stats of the yeah. people laid off. Look yeah, that's a good point, right? Uh, some people, uh, and I've read your guys' comments as well. Let, let me know your take for sure. But some of you guys also brought in when this was happening, right? Uh, a lot of you brought in the fact that maybe it's to do with AI. And yeah, maybe it is. Because right after that, uh, Microsoft came out and they said that we're in the baby stage. We're in the infancy, infancy stage of the AI, which means that, yeah, it's like beginning, bro. Like, uh, we're in the beginning stage. Okay, five years from now, ten years from now, basically put a lot of people are gonna lose their job thanks to the AI situation. So, you know what? When you bring this argument up, I'm like, yeah, totally makes sense. And now this DEI thing is going on and, and Activision, you need to wait for it. Apparently, there's a lot more coming up. I, I think it's to do with the AI as well. Were they all like white males or something? Uh, were they people that didn't want to do these quote unquote non-mandatory things or call Maybe. this stuff out for what it is and what it is, make no mistake, what this is, is a fucking cult. This shit is, this shit's cult-like. Anytime there's like some Call of Duty fanboy that doesn't like me on um, a social media platform or whatever, every time I, I click on their profile, like if they're talking shit to me, every time I click on their profile on mm. Twitter, for example, it looks not dissimilar to this mock-up one I just made as a joke. It, it looks pretty much just like this. The scary thing is, is I'll look at their sign up date and I'll look at the amount of tweets and stuff and they post like, they, they tweet out like 50 to 100 times a day, every single day. It's... Just the dregs of society have infested Call of Duty. I don't know what else to call I it. Need to show you this. If you watch my last video, I, I show you clear as day. You can't argue yeah. it. It's irrefutable, factual evidence that Call of Duty does not give a shit about the people it's marketing towards yeah, facts, facts. during like Pride Month uh -oh. and whatnot. They uh oh, remember when Call of Duty wanted you to fight against grenade spam under the acro? Yeah, 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 What? 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 This is Activision! <gasps> they really did that! Thank God they are the home of virtue and all that is good. This was tweeted last year like BUMBLECLAD! Okay, so this is when I believe we had the Nick Mark situation, Dr. Disrespect and uh, Leave the Kids Alone situation, right? And right after that they added the Lucia, uh, not the Lucia Burnout, that's GTA 6. They added the Nicki Minaj Burnout, yeah, 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 okay. They are laughing their way to the bank because they are just manipulating these people to to get their money at, at the end of the day. And I, uh -huh. I showed their hypocrisy by adding in the Snoop Dogg and Nicki Minaj skins. 
Um, those two have had several instances of just overt homophobia, yet they get a skin in a Call of Duty game. Why? Because Activision Blizzard does not care, nor do they care yeah. to even try to hide their hypocrisy. After Let me actually share this with you guys, right? So, I, I, I covered this in a video prior to this, but this is absolutely insane. So, Activision is like having sessions of uh, like, E, E, for the E, you know? They're having, they're hosting these struggle sessions, and you need to check your privilege and CD Projekt Red right, uh, behind Cyberpunk, right? So they are having, uh, they are promoting menstrual thing, like, hey, 39% of eligible reds, uh, they're calling them reds, uh, have taken menstrual leave at least once. Uh, and, and apparently they're saying that we're proud to receive the diversity charter award for our menstrual leave benefit in the category of innovative approach of diversity, equity, and inclusion in business. Basically, they're given participation ribbons just because the fact that th this is like a biological thing, right? Like, uh, it happens. Now, of course, I'm not a woman. Maybe it's truly painful. I mean, I respect the women, though. I, yeah, I truly do. I truly do. But it's like, this is kind of wild. Like, how is this linked with gaming? I don't understand. You're a gaming company. Why? Like, uh, okay, like, yeah, they had menstrual uh, and they 39% of them actually uh l l had a leave at least once like what are we talking about it's like saying men have uh wh what's this called like erection so does that mean that men also should be taking leaves bruh. like bruh like bruh like what are we talking about okay I, I made like a crazy comparison it's probably not like this okay but but still like if you're gonna do something like that you're you're you you are the one saying diversity right you're the one saying that hey we need to include everybody everybody hashtag me too hashtag inclusivity hashtag equality tee hee uh if we're gonna do that like let's also include men too i, I feel left i feel left out bruh. right now bruh like i'm a brown man uh, with a bbc like i feel like left out right now bro. Like, oh, what is going on right now bro what is going on i'm like south asian i'm pakistani uh so like i'm a brown boy like i feel left out like i i have erections a couple of times uh multiple times i should say a day right bruh. like did i ask for a leave did I ask for a leave? Yeah, it's like one bruh, like what are we doing? This is gaming! This is gaming! Modern day gaming, bro! It's modern day gaming! The whole Nick Wait Merckx thing, it. you know. Um, the, the Snoop Dogg and Nicki Minaj are more famous, they're gonna make them more money, so Nick Merckx has to be the scapegoat here, but they're not even consistent with their own practices. But anyway, I could literally mm. show people this. I could show the entire uh -oh. community this. Hold it up. Irrefutable uh -oh. factual evidence. Like Chad Kroger, and, and look at this photograph. You know, like that meme, and that awful Nickelback song. I could, I could show that fucking like exhibit a and people would just ignore it and they'd be like fuck you blame truth i hope your house burns down you piece of shit i'm like okay but then i think of this quote by mark twain which says it's easier to fool people than it is to convince them they've been fooled and i'm like mm. oh okay yeah <laughs> that makes sense anyway guys uh -oh. i hate to kind of be covering this and i hate that politics have uh, just worm their way into gaming. I, I want to make this very clear before I... It's crazy because I remember when the Nick Mark situation happened when he said leave the kids alone. Uh, I believe Blame Truth did touch on it, but you know what? He was one of those guys that was like, hey, I'm not gonna talk about it. And he was more like uh, having that... Uh, what's this called? He was having that decent approach where he was like i don't want to take sides uh, of the left or the right i don't want to talk about it okay yeah that's your right i mean that's fair if you don't want to talk about it you don't want to talk about it but it's crazy that even the homie blame truths is not talking about all of this because this is literally this literally has overtaken but i want to show you this this is also going on roll it hey what's up guys right here so i'm gonna finally bite on this subject over the past week or so there's been an entire discourse and many viral clips yeah. like this one going around and talking about what they deem as the problem in the gaming communities and yeah the problem is men are the problem in the gaming community men are always just manipulating that's what Twitter has designated the source of that problem to be yeah. men. And you already knew that was coming, but there is a lot of clips like this going around and they all rely on three arguments to support their claims. Generalizations, they also ignore any active solutions to these issues they're raising. And also they rely on hypocritical arguments. But let's okay. see how this all began. So yeah. a few days ago, there was a clip from the streamer Taylor Morgan that would go viral on Twitter where she shared a clip while in a voice chat with a male gamer. He would yeah. for an extended oh, no. period of time describe how he is going to r-word her which is obviously very unhinged but a lot of people yeah. were confused as to why she let this keep going for so long and yeah. people asked her why didn't you just mute or block this individual where a lot of people would start questioning the sincerity of her overall message because yeah. she claimed that she was not muting this male because she wanted to keep farming content hey gaming bro this guy is an asshole this guy's an absolute asshole like i'm literally the only reason i have him unmuted 
The only reason I have it on YouTube is for content. Why? So as this clip made the rounds on social media, definitely took the wind out of her sails. She hasn't really responded to much after this got attention. Bruh. And a lot of people also started raising some claims that she had made some edgy jokes in some of her streams in the past edgy? as well. And when people went to check for the evidence, they noticed oh, that she no. had wiped the slate clean. She had deleted all of her Twitch content, which based on the timing of people checking out her content to see how sincere she is on this topic, it made her look a bit suspicious. However, that didn't stop people from supporting her general arguments. I saw a lot of women make hey, posts hey, like this. Hey, Bro. I'm a woman, I play Call of Duty, I stand up for other women, and I use my voice in Call of Duty lo lobbies against, uh, okay, etc. I hope this reaches angry males and make them super uncomfortable. Okay, uh, go off. So I can humble you. Oh wow, alright. Yeah, hashtag humble, hashtag equality, hashtag me too. Uh, very interesting to say the least, this individual saying, I am a woman, I play Call of Duty, I stand up for other women, and I use my voice in COD lobbies against racism, transphobia, homophobia, sexism, etc. I hope this reaches angry male gamers and makes them super uncomfortable. I also hope I see you in one of my lobbies soon so I can humble you. Now, I don't think this is a very productive movement here to virtue signal at a hornet's nest as you're kicking it, but also this is a very strange tactic, I have to say. Yeah. I don't know what showing your cleavage is supposed to do to these yeah, angry like, males. I don't think that's the most effective. I, I mean, like, if anything, like, men would love it. Like, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, men got no problem with you, like, dropping all that. I, I It's it's haram, of course, but, like, still, biologically speaking, it's, um, you know, a man need a woman, woman need a man, and uh, we love women, and uh, if you do that, we're not complaining. But, but still, like, damn, you are degrading yourself, though. You're degrading your value by dropping your, uh, you know, the and showing the tatas and all that, right? But right as we get down to the climax here, guys, uh, it is coming up, okay? I don't think you're ready for the, the clip that uh, I was talking about right in the beginning. And uh, right as we get down to this one, I want to say that I have a second channel. This is where we upload the UFO content and conspiracy content. Link should be in the pinned comment below where you can catch all my YouTube channels, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and also the secret link. Yay! I Let's get back to the content now, boo boo. Effective strategy. I don't really know what you're trying to go for here, but anyways, we're now switching on to this streamer named Jay Hannah, I believe, or Jana. Uh, I don't really know, but either way, she has been making the rounds going viral on Twitter for this clip right here, where she talks about and how men are the problem with the gaming community. Now, let's listen to a bit of that clip. She wouldn't last 10 minutes in a COD lobby is not, nor has it ever been, a valid excuse for men to act like pieces of human garbage in gaming. I shouldn't have to play a game where all I say is hi, and the whole game is thrown, and I'm in hell for the next 40 minutes because yeah. men are being emotional about it. Yeah. That is not normal, and that's not how the old COD days were, because I promise you, as a man, you have never had somebody throw on the basis of your gender. Okay. That doesn't happen. You can yeah, say it happens. Of course. You're lying. I'm sorry. I don't know why that's such a common thing in the comments of my videos. You guys want to be oppressed so bad that you'll look at a man calling me. I'll just tell you this. We're, we're, we're going to keep it like we're not going to go any other place. Here. We're going to stay. Uh, we're going to stick to the topic at hand. N the fact that you're on the Internet, I'm on the Internet. And uh, we have seen how many times we have seen like a like an e-girl over on Twitch show booba. Like there was a chick. Uh, I, I know a crazy example, insane example. I'm going to go that route right now. But but like a chick literally uh, done Easter egg. She got pounded on stream. She was, yeah, perma, uh, not perma, and they said perma band, but the queen was back by Monday. <laughs> and, 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 you know, Gideon, I, I believe he just got free after like two, three years of being banned. Bruh. And, and you want to know what he said? Uh, he he said that, yeah, Pokemon probably get pounded every night. She said some like, he said some like that, right? Of course, not endorsing that. Even he realized at the point that, yeah, what he said was wrong. And, and later on, what Gideon did was, I, I feel like that not many streamers, I see literally no one ever, uh, no one would ever do that. I see nobody ever doing that, right? Gideon, he said some effed up stuff about Pokemon, okay? He apologized, first of all, and then he went, I believe, uh, of course, he asked her that I can come up to your house, of course. So he tried to be a gentleman about it. He he was a gentleman about it. He showed up to her house, and both of them sat down, talked, and, uh, you know, uh, ate lunch together. And uh, they squashed the beef, and everything was cool. But he still stayed banned on Twitch. So, my point here is that if you're a man, you mess up, even if you apologize after, you messed up, you messed up, you get thrown in another dimension. It's Joe over for you at that point, right? Like, holy crap, what are what are we talking about right now, bruh? Tell me a tongue, he's gonna tell me to get back in the kitchen and say it's not a woman thing. And say that that happens to you too. It doesn't. 
there's a reason that historically male dominated spaces are known for being toxic and unsafe that goes for gaming that goes for sports any male dominated space is a bad one so in this first section she claims that men are often very uh -huh. hostile to women when they enter a space like a voice chat lobby in a game and you know what she's entirely correct that is the truth women who go into these spaces are often met with hostility nobody should mm. be denying that that is exactly mm. what's happening however she and everyone else making these similar arguments miss the point as to why that's happening it's not just because they're women it's because they don't fit in that space by their own admission it is a male dominated space they are something that is foreign to that space and they are met with hostility when they show up there that is human nature like it or not that is just human nature when it comes to a space that is dominated by a certain type of person when someone from the outside yeah. comes in they are met with hostility and that includes yeah. groups that are female dominated spaces when someone who's outside of that comes in they're met with hostility too that is just human nature at that point and but, but you're just a misogynist you're toxic to environment this is toxic masculinity i'm dead's little princess i love being strong and independent Dee. thing too is she's basically ask, acting like if you're a male you're immune to any sort of harassment or attacks yeah, from like, your fellow male gamers which is dog, if you're a man like sickest go an extra step though you know seconds go extra step to kind of like bully you bro like if they find out that you're a man they will go an extra step though if they find out you're a chick and you're like doing all of that crap yeah they uh, surely they would also attack you and whatnot not defending that uh not saying that's correct come on guys like don't do that man come on don't do that bro don't do that but like but to say that men are not abused equally like come on bro like we're abused even more than equally but hashtag me too hashtag equality i guess ridiculous because she openly acknowledges the old sausage fest hashtag of the too. cod lobbies from 10 years ago if they were male dominated spaces then what was going on there that was so toxic well it was men attacking other men not just men attacking women trying to enter yeah, that space yeah i know that in my audience about 50 percent of you are from the united states but another 50 percent of you are from other countries including a lot of non-english speaking countries and i will ask you the male gamers to leave a comment to share things that you've been harassed for by other men in voice chat lobbies for games like i know that people have been harassed for things like the country they're from or the the language they speak or their accent or the way they speak generally that is me saying there's an there, there's just too many bro like there's just too many right now like i i, I don't know man like uh, yeah race religion uh you're a man you're toxic you're a gamer uh you in your mom's basement uh you need to uh kym you know what I'm saying? i cannot say these words on youtube yeah too many too many too many lost count bro lost count man lost count issue with the way that you guys have your locker room talk that makes everybody else feel unsafe i don't know how you could possibly find it un to make other people feel unsafe. No woman is asking men to make gaming a safe space with sunshine and rainbows and everything, but could you please be normal? Because oh, I wanna be able to enjoy playing the game without my life being threatened. Okay, that, the only part that I agree with is that like sometimes uh, sick is be trying to be sick is, okay? Like that's, a, that's the issue with the beta males, right? Like they would hear a female voice and then they would try to do some, I guess, abnormal stuff, the unnormal stuff. Okay, that part I do agree with. I, I feel like that nobody, of course, nobody deserved to be harassed or anything like that, right? But it's, uh, but the world that we live in sweetheart it ain't like that I, I wish it was like that but but like it ain't like that so what are we gonna do right what are we gonna do sick is gonna be sick is right and m most of the time majority of the time sick is say some after up stuff online that they don't really mean not justifying it of course but the point that i'm trying to bring up here is that uh people uh, guys right like dudes uh, it would they would say stuff online but they don't mean it at all it's like banter it's just sarcasm yeah i know it's effed up though i'm not endorsing it but that's how it is it's without my body being threatened because I'm existing as a woman and men are the ones making it unsafe. And I do not care if you feel targeted by me saying men or if you feel attacked by me saying men, you Hold are up. part of the problem. If you feel attacked yeah, by that, off. you're part of the problem. If you say just mute them, you're part of the problem. If you sit there and let them say that to me and you don't intervene, you are part of the problem because I have a lot of male friends, normal male friends who don't say slurs and don't threaten people and just play like normal. I understand that it's not all men, but if you are not one of the men doing this, it is okay. entirely on you to help stop the men who are. If you don't understand that- I, I cannot stop other human from doing what they gotta do. I mean, brothers gotta do what brothers gotta do. I mean, sick is gonna be sick is, like I said, it's the beta males, bruh. And the next clip that's coming up is she will literally go ahead and say that whenever he uh, she has her kid, she want to change her kid's gender. Though. So essentially making her kid into a beta male. And guess what that beta male is going to do? That beta male is going to do and attack more women in the future. It's the, yeah, the problem is not the alpha males or the problem is not the men. A real men would not do that, right? Wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do that. 
that and you don't understand it's power imbalances and gender hierarchy, it's not my place to teach you. I'm not your mother. I'm not your teacher. Close the game for yeah, five good. minutes and educate yourself. So that's section we just listened to. Five, okay, uh, close the game for five minutes. That's way too much, sweetheart. Ain't nobody got time for that. I think is the most ridiculous. So beginning with- I, I'm joking around, but like- yeah. Comments about being unsafe. That is such a first world problem in the scenario where she is saying uh, she's unsafe yeah. because of things people are saying to her in a lobby while she's gaming, okay? And she dismisses this mute them advice that people are giving yeah, like these Brett. female gamers like when Brett. it's actually the solution to the problem if you're dealing with someone who's mute them block them easy easy it's unhinged or you see them being unhinged towards other players before they even reach you go ahead and mute them that is solving the problem let them scream into the void that is an actual solution to the problem and it should not be dismissed and also i mean you're asking these men to stand up for you when another male is attacking you and that's a big ask and number one they don't owe you anything but also on top of that you are calling these you are also saying like hey close the game down for five minutes <laughs> five minutes you kidding Bruh. me right now gamers don't want to leave their games out okay but no uh, honestly though you you are literally calling men the problem you're literally saying toxic masculinity not she didn't necessarily say toxic masculinity but that's basically where she's going with it right you're blaming men uh, and also you're like hey i need men to stand up like bread like bread like uh hey men are wrong and problematic right I'm too strong and dependent. Hey, I also need men to uh, rise up. Does that mean that you're not too strong and dependent? Like, I, I'm, I'm kind of confused right now. These men in the space and generalizing about them, calling them bad, toxic, what have you, and then you're asking them to stand up for you when yeah. you've entered a space that you're not the common denominator in. And you're really just kind of throwing them to the wolves too. Like if you believe you're receiving genuine harassment, you're now asking other people to jump in and risk getting harassed themselves. Like I said, it's a pretty big ask, but uh, you know, if you're tired Go of hearing off, yeah. this, this male speaker, uh -oh. you can listen to a female user here with a well-supported tweet saying, insulting Wait men, labeling them as toxic and saying they are the problem also demanding that men step up and defend you is wild. Gaming isn't all about large white headphones and cleavage sweat heart. If you can't handle the heat, maybe you're more suited for the pools, hot tubs, and beaches side of Twitch. And here's the most liked reply to the original tweet sharing the video saying, number one, if you want to be in a community, Dang. stop trying to change that community. Number two, men in gaming get targeted for everything, including yeah. their gender. The difference is they understand it's just banter and just have fun. Number Facts. three, you have a mute and block option. I'm gonna Facts. Facts. And the next clip that's coming up, it is uh, kind of crazy. All right, roll this. What a disgusting individual you are, getting 70,000 plus likes. Let's Ooh. listen to this clip. So she no, said it's this. over, Ina. It's over. Like, if if I were to have a boy, we better pray to God that he's gay. We better start indoctrinating him day one. We have to either make him trans or make him gay. We are not having a cisgender straight son. So yeah, a lot of people had a big <sighs> issue with these comments that she made. You can see the top. Okay, so what the hell is a cis uh, thing? Like, I heard this term thrown around like a lot. Does that mean that if you're straight, you're cis? I, I don't know, man. Like, every day there's like a new gender being born, right? There are new terms. I'm, I'm kind of like, what planet am I on, bro? I don't even know what planet am I on. Replies here saying, uh, this is what child abuse looks like. This isn't satire. There's literally a whole new generation of women who feel this way. Yeah. Cliche, but society is literally collapsing. I don't think... And you know what? If you're, uh, if you're a female, like, watching this and you are literally trying to do this where you want to change your kid's gender or make him gay uh, or... He, uh, uh, yeah, better believe it. When he grows up, he's going to hit your ass when he finds out the truth of what you did. Secondly, he's going to start abusing women. The, the, yeah, so we're like in a paradox, right? Like it's going to be the same problem over and over again. The cycle continues. Congratulations, you played yourself. Congratulations, the, the, the problem that you wanted to solve, you instead of solving it, you just created another one. Guys, this also is going on in gaming apparently. Yeah, this is happening in gaming. A lot of fans are upset. To, and I'm putting it lightly, uh, people are more than just upset. This video is also going viral. Check this one out. And uh, on the left, this video, uh, we'll, we'll put it something there as well. All right, let's uh, check it out. Uh, NLC right there, boo.